Well, hello everybody. It's time for the Jump Ministry message of the day. Today is Friday. Today is July 24th. And did I say today's Friday? Oh yeah, I think it did. Hey, you see this picture? We're going to be talking about this little fella in a minute. So, get your Bible. We'll be in Psalm 36 momentarily. Happy Friday. Well, hello, it's Friday, my favorite day of the week. Yep, and here we are. I did something else. I did that cross-referencing thing. I started out in one place in the Bible, and I landed right here. And it made me think of somebody that's come into my life recently, so I'll share that with you in a moment. Will you turn your Bibles to Psalm 36, and we're going to start in verse 4. And this is a psalm that David wrote, and I'd like to know what he was thinking when he wrote this. I bet he was rejoicing. And, uh, well, just listen to the words. It may sound a little different from what you're reading, so if you just want to listen not follow along, whatever you want to do. Psalm 36, verse 5. I'm reading from the New Living Translation today. Your unfailing love, O Lord, is as vast as the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches beyond the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains, your justice like the ocean depths. You care for people and animals alike, O oh Lord. I'll stop right there. You care for people and animals alike. About a year ago, this is the special thing that came into my life. About a year ago, I was out front and uh, playing guitar, just kind of minding my own business. It was uh, might have been late afternoon, early evening. And I heard something, and it was a little cat. And, of course, the phone rings right when I sit down to do this. Yep, that's the way it goes. Oh, well. There that goes. Anyway, it was a cat, and she came up, and uh, I was sitting by one of the barns, and I had the doors open, and I remember now it was cool outside. That's right, because I had a kerosene heater going. So she came on up in there, and uh, she just wanted to listen. And she came into my life, and we had her here for a while, and she got sick, and she didn't do well, and then she she died from the sickness. And so I buried her out here on a hill. And I'm not trying to be sad. This isn't a sad story, because it's actually a very cool story. So I loved that cat. Her name was Oreo, and she was black and white, and she was so friendly, so, so friendly. But she had been out in the woods living for a while, and so she had you know, picked up a disease, and so she, her little body couldn't fight it. We tried, and our vet was so sweet and, you know, tried to help her, but she was too sick. Anyway, I buried her here on the hill. Well, about a week after I buried her, and I was sad. I was very sad because this was a cool cat, and she hung out with me. And, you know, anytime I had the guitar out, she'd come running right up and sit there and listen. And I'm not a good guitar player, but she liked it. Anyway, about uh, a week after we buried her, you know, and me and Miss Cricket were so sad, I looked out there, and I said, Cricket, you're not going to believe it. It was kind of scary. I thought she was back from the dead, because there was an identical-looking cat sleeping right next to her grave. I am not making this up, Miss Cricket will tell you. And I looked, and I said, well, no, wait a minute, that's a boy. And he was skinny. And so I went over and tried to pet him, and he took off into the woods. And I said, oh. And I didn't see him for a long time. And that's Remember now, this is about a year ago. Might be a little longer than a year ago. So, one day, I came home from work and I pulled up in the driveway and that same cat was sitting at the top of the hill looking at me. And as soon as I said hi, took off. I said, well, he must be eating something. You know, maybe he's killing all the mice around here or, you know, he's eating. So I said, I'll put some food out for him. And so I put the food out, and he wouldn't come anywhere near me. And so I'd walk away from the food bowl, and he came up, and he would eat the food. But the whole time, he was staring at me. And if I moved, he started hissing and growling. I said, whoa, this cat's crazy. You know? Well, so for about a year, I've been talking to him. And bit by bit, he used to take off, and I wouldn't see him for three days. And then he would take off, and I wouldn't see him for two days. And then he would take off and be back the next morning. Well, now. He's here every day. He never leaves. 
he won't ever come in the house because he's very afraid of the dogs. He hears the dogs bark and he'll just run. But bit by bit, I've been putting his food bowl out. And he comes and he eats and he lets me sit next to him and I'll sing a little bit or I'll talk to him. Well, about three days ago, he came out from under Miss Cricket's car after a rainstorm. And he was all wet. And I said, are you hungry? And he started crying. And he came over to me and he let me pet him. And then he ran away. I said, okay. You know, I don't need another cat in my life. Cats, you can have them. I don't have any use for cats. I love dogs. But this cat, this morning, I was out reading my Bible. And I came to this verse. You care for people and animals alike, O oh Lord. And I said, I think I get the message. God cares for us, but he also loves the animals he created, and he wants us to take care of them. So, while I was sitting to read my Bible, I said, well, I'll move his bowl, because I always feed him down in the driveway. I said, I'll move his bowl. And I put the bowl up on the porch, about five feet away from me. And he's looking at me, he has big green eyes. Beautiful, it's a beautiful animal. We call him Tuxedo, because he's got a white chest and black, and he's just, he is a beautiful cat, if cats can be beautiful. And he has white socks. Well, he came up. We have seven stairs that come up to my house. He came up to the fifth stair and stared at me. And I said, well, if you want your food, it's sitting over there, dude. And he came up, and he slid through the railings. He wouldn't even walk by me. He slid through the railings, and he went over there and ate. And he kept, every time he'd take a mouthful of food, he kept turning around looking at me. So I ignored him. I just sat there reading. You care for people and animals alike, O oh Lord. How precious is your unfailing love, O oh God. All humanity finds shelter in the shadow of your wings. You feed them from the abundance of your own house, letting them drink from your rivers or your river of delights. For you are the fountain of life, the light by which we see. And I read it a couple more times where I got to the, you feed them from the abundance of your own house. It's not costing me anything to feed that cat. My son has a cat in his room and he always orders extra food. So I just go over there and take some of that. <laughs> and bit by bit this animal has come to trust me now i don't know if i'll one day go out there and he's not around anymore i don't know but for some reason the lord has sent that animal to remind me how much god cares for animals too and how much he wants us to take care of them i'm not going to go on and on today but as i was reflecting on this psalm and once again it's psalm 36 and i read verses uh, four excuse me five through nine if you look in the Bible, you'll see that after God created everything, including animals, and after he had created people, and the earth is all ready, and he made it just for us, and he said he looked at everything he had made, and it was very good. So, whether I like cats or not, God loves them. So, I'm going to be nice to that cat for as long as he wants to live here. And if he wants to move someday and go on about his business, well, that's okay too but for now i've got a friend and his name is tuxedo cat i call him t-tux so we'll see where it goes and another thing as i was reading these words i said i've heard these before and i started singing them your love oh lord reaches to the heavens your faithfulness reaches to the sky and i said i know where that's from a band called Third Day wrote a song called Your Love, O Lord. Check it out. There's a dude named Mac Powell, and they wrote this in 2009. It's called Your Love, O Lord. Maybe for our devotion on a Friday, I'll break tradition, and that will be it. I will put the video on here, and I'll probably get hit with copyright infringements or whatever, you know. But we'll pick up again where I was going to go in a devotion, because I talk so much today that... I've probably bored you and you're going to sleep. So I'll put the video in here right after this. And I want to say God bless you. I want to say have a great weekend. It is Friday. And it's time for us to loosen up a little bit and enjoy ourselves. That is those of us that need to relax a little bit. How's your week been? I hope it's been okay. All right. This has been an interesting week over here. And I am kind of glad it's Friday. Because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my little speaker out front with my little cell phone that rang and was very rude to me a second ago. And I'm going to put your love, O Lord, on it. And I'm going to listen to that while I'm cooking on the grill. And I think tonight I'm going to cook some chicken. 
And as that smoke is coming up, I'll turn around and guess where that cat will be. He'll be sitting right there watching, saying, I wonder if Mr. Bill's going to drop some of that chicken on the ground. So I might accidentally drop some chicken on the ground tonight because I'm a nice guy like that. What do you think? <laughs> All right. Let's have a prayer. And I didn't even have Corey with me today. Well, he's back there hanging out with his buddies. Looks like he's asleep, doesn't it? Yeah, he looks like he's asleep. All right, let's pray. Father, you do care about us and you care about the animals. I love how Psalm 36 says your love is as vast as the heavens. And on this beautiful Friday you've given us, I'm just gazing up sometime, just trying to imagine how big your love for us is as far as the east is from west. Isn't that amazing? Please watch over us, Lord. Watch over our loved ones. We have a special prayer request for someone that's not feeling well. And we pray for Mr. Dick that he'll feel better. We pray for Miss Faith that both of them will know how much they are loved and how much they inspire us to be better people. So there's our prayer request for this Friday evening. We pray for our loved ones that are in hospitals or convalescent homes. We pray for families that have lost loved ones. We pray in particular for... Uh, the family of Miss Mary, who's moved on to glory. Just uh, she'll be missed. What a sweet soul she was, and she supported this ministry. She loved this ministry, and she didn't even know our little church, but she loved this ministry. So, Lord, she just bless her loved ones and give them your comfort as they're grieving this Friday evening. And, Lord, we look forward to better days. We hear businesses are opening back up and there's all these plans. Everybody's making plans. And I wonder, has anybody turned to you to see if these plans line up with your plans? I don't know, Lord. But one thing I do know is that we're going to trust you and we're going to press on in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have a great Friday. See ya. Watch for your Jump Ministry worship service on Sunday. All right, pray for each other, love each other, be good, be kind. If you can't, try. All right, guys, see you later. Bye-bye now. Amen and amen, and that's why we do come together this morning on this wonderful morning to think about that amazing gift that he has given us. to the heavens Your faithfulness stretches to the skies Your righteousness Your righteousness is like the mighty mountain yes, and justice flows your justice flows like the ocean's tides. I will lift my voice. And I will lift my voice to worship you, my King. And I will find my strength in the shadow of Love, oh Lord, let's sing together. Your love, oh Lord, reaches to the heavens, reaches to the heavens. Your faithfulness, your faithfulness stretches to the skies. Your righteousness. Life and mighty mountains, yeah. Your justice flows, your justice flows like the ocean's tides. And I will lift my voice to worship you, my King. I will find my strength. I will find my strength in the shadow of the wings. I will lift my voice, sing with me. I will lift my voice to worship.
Well, thank you for spending time with us today. This has been the Jump Ministry Daily Devotional Message. If your children have any questions, they can email Pastor Bill at jumpministry at mac.com and my phone number is in the membership directory. This has been Jump Ministry from the Church at St. Charles. Have a great day.